If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Guys, today we have the uh, new Evolutions David Alaba to check out. Um, this is like one of the most sought after cards from the most recent Evolutions from Pep's Legacy because he gets some pretty significant improvements, right? So for this card, you have to go from the Team of the Week into the Team of the Week upgrade and then into Pep's Legacy. This card hurts me a little bit, so I'm not going to lie to you guys, because if you guys watch the first Owner RTG stuff, you will know that uh, we sent this card into the Griezmann SPC. So we're not going to talk about it, okay? Um, guys, with David Alaba, we're taking a look at a bunch of really, really nice stuff. I'm going to be honest with you guys, man. I even mentioned this in the in the most recent video when I was taking a look at these cards, right? He looks like he'd be a really, really class midfielder, okay? Because the way that I would set up the team personally is probably going to be in a five back just to start off because he's a center back. And then I would just put him into the midfield. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'd be super easy to do that. It would not be hard whatsoever. So it'd be kind of sick, right? Like, imagine if I decided to play like a 4-2-3-1, you know, narrow and I have David Alaba on the left side and Chouameni on the right side, I feel like that'd be a really sick combination to work with and totally doable as well, right? Uh, with David Alaba being 5'11", medium high, four-star skills, five-star weak foot, left-footed controls player, let's be honest, if this card was an SPC, he would be very, very expensive. And uh, it's an Evolutions card, which is why the Team of the Week upgrade is extinct, and I want to cry myself to sleep for sending his inform into the Griezmann SPC. Playstyles. He has incisive pass plus. He's got Tiki Taka, regular anticipates, dead ball, as well as the quick step. In-game attributes. This is how the card is formatted. So, yeah, sure, he's not a lengthy, but who cares, right? That that play style is irrelevant for a card like this because he's got 91 acceleration, 91 for sprint speed, uh, and then base card stats for defending. All perfect, all perfect with an anticipate, like a regular anticipate. Uh, physical. Well, close to perfect, but you guys get me. Uh, physical stats also in a fantastic area too. You know, passing capabilities, amazing. Shooting capabilities. You could technically go in the route to giving him a Hunter chemistry style just to improve the finishing a little bit more. Sure, if you want. But, I mean, most people are going to give him a shadow. Let's be honest, right? Um, dribbling on the card also in a very good area for a card that's either going to be played in the center back position or the midfield position. Either or, right? Um, so... It looks like a really interesting card. I think the main things to te test out with the card is obviously going to be defensive capabilities and passing, right? Because I'm not really going to care too much about shooting often with this card because it's not really going to be the crazy play style to go with all the time, right? So uh, for us, we'll just be using him. I'm going to rotate, right? So like basically um, just for the sake of the review, because it's a defense review, I'm not going to care too much about attacking. Um, I'm going to rotate Toure and David Alaba. Not the best rotation, honestly, because Toure is not supposed to be a center back, but like... You know, just for the sake of the review. I will use a 4-3-2-1. Maybe we attack. I'm probably not, just to be honest, because I just want to get the defensive review and see what's uh, what's up with the card individually. So let's go see what he's like. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, mean, that, I mean, listen, that by itself as a center back is a very helpful... Oh, get it back, get it back. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. If I got the dribbles off with him there, that would have been so funny. Oh, look at that track back. Yo, look at that track back. Yo, come back, bro, come back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Almost gets it. Oh, dude, that quick stop for the transition. Oh, you guys have no idea how nice that is. Like, the manual defense for that is sick. My brother, look at that transition speed. Oh, my goodness. I can actually manually defend with him. Do you know how hard it is to turn with the physical defenders, man? It's actually mad annoying. Oh, 
Oh, dude. Oh, I can't, man. It's gonna hurt. Like, I can already feel the pain in my stomach from putting him into that SPC, man. I can feel the pain, bro. Oh my goodness. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh, we got a first. The three blade, three blades. Oh, 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 oh. A little bit too close control there, David Alba. Take it easy, buddy. Now nah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're chilling. That's just manual defending this game being weird. The block. Look at that for a pass. So situations like that, right? I really wanted to test that one specifically. That's where it makes me kind of want to use it more as a midfielder because the lengthy when you have like more pace, it kind of helps a little bit more. This is, by the way, is only for formations that are a little bit more open, right? For that uh, extra pace that you may need. I'll try a finesse shot with him. Why not? Well positioned. Ah, I'm lucky. Yeah, dude, they're so assisted when they have the play style. That's crazy. Transition speed's too good, man. Nice pass again. Rare Gold Salah is just super outdated. It's a good pass, but he's offside. Oh, that was a nice pass, though. There we go. See, all these things are like super, they're super assisted, right? When you have the, the actual play styles. Nice Alaba. Ooh, nice pass. Almost, dude. I almost had it there. No, nobody supports. Oh, 
Oh, I got the green on it, though. I don't think it's going to do much, though. Oh, I never know, never know. Nicely done. Oof, what a pass. And it all started from my boy, bro. All started from my boy. I wanted to get the ball to him just to get the through ball, but these through balls are so good. It's nice to have a player that, like, when he passes the ball, it's, like, really pinpoint a lot of the times. Especially for those through balls. That's why I, I've switched to, like, a 4-2-3-1, playing him as a left center defensive mid, because I can utilize that part of the card more often, right? Like, if I'm here, I do this. If I see an opening, you know, open up here or something, I probably do a through ball. If he's, like, making that side play, you know? Get the ball afterwards, get the pass off, nice. Like over here, I can just do that, right? Like I can work with that side play more often. Do this, do that, boom. It didn't register the uh, extra touch there, but oh, nor is it registering any of this, but made it work. That bounce touch is always a weird one, huh? Beauty. I want to force it because eventually he'll come back and I could just do like a layoff. Pass. Dribble. Force it. It's You could force runs with players because when it's their track back afterwards, it's like really helpful to work with. That's the space right there. Do this, little R1, R1 again. The space is right there, you see? And then you can just do that. It didn't register the right person, but you know the vibes. Oh, I was well waited though. Uh, we're good. Nice. Beauty. Well done, well done. Started off from somewhere. Give me that. Ball? Nice. And another goal. Very good. Almost. I was very close there. So consistent on the passes, bro. Almost score there just because of that, right? Passing plays very quick. Unlucky. I think it hit me last. Oh, no, it didn't.
And we score a Trivella. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, that would have been a good build-up play, too. I like it. Oh, that's a weird one. It was like so, uh, so low on that. Hold on, Alaba. Mm, too much power on it. Too much power. That was nuts. Nice pass. Oh, Alaba. Later. I'll make that run right there. There we go. Can I do this? Ah, dude, it's because the end of the game, man. When you're winning, I don't know. This game's just weird, dude. I'm telling you, at the end. Because if I could just control that and just get the through ball, like, I'm perfect, you know? Every time, bro. The thing that the thing is, too, is he has a weak foot as well to work with that, right? Like, even when it passes a complete wrong person like it did right there, it's still good. Look, creates a space for us, too. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new David Alaba card. So, guys, honestly, really solid option. It's not an option that's like, uh, I remember during that time period for the Evos where it's like, oh, Lorente versus Chuameni, right? Like, it wasn't like that where it's like, guys, if you choose Chuameni over Lorente, I think you're a little crazy, honestly, because Lorente is like really, really good, right? Even in that review, I even told you guys. Um, so I don't think it's on that level where it's like, oh, make sure you choose David Alaba over some other cards because, guys, Pep's legacy... It has a few different options that are very, very nice. Obviously, Cancelo is probably like the other option that's like not top here, but Cancelo 92, this one right here, looking really nice, right? On a shadow chemistry style, 96 acceleration, 87 sprint speed, defensive stats, but it's the, it's the play styles, right? The play styles he has is very nice, all that kind of stuff, right? So if you go in those directions, like you're chilling. It's not as bad as like Lorente versus Chouameni, right? Now, let's talk about David Alaba in game, right? So David Alaba in game is very nice. I like him a lot. Um, what this card is is like just like a transitioning monster, right? Defends really well for the most part. Uh, Shadow chemistry style to boost the pace and defending is definitely very nice. I will say that there are certain situations where having a little bit more of a physical presence as well as the lengthy would be ideal, right? There's a lot of situations where that could potentially happen. But guys, this card is very versatile. You can use him in different ways. He has really, really W play styles as well. Like I'll tell you this right now, right? Anticipate regular, very nice. Incisive pass, very nice. Like a card like this, when I was using him in game, I'll tell you the main positions that I feel like he would cook in for sure. Okay. One would be left center defensive mid. Okay. Left center defensive mid because the dribbling is nice. The passing is nice. Um, in his case, maybe like a stay back while attacking cover center, and then maybe he could push forward if he wants, right? But if because he's a medium high, he's not going to be that guy that always pushes forward. It just depends on the situation, obviously. But that position, left center back in a three back formation would be really nice there as well. Um, even if you notice your opponent's doing like a lot of like finesse shots, you switch him over to the right hand side and you could totally do that because he has the five star weak foot. Uh, left center mid in like a 4-3-2-1 stay back while attacking cover center role as well. Like there's so many different ways that you can line up this card. But like generally speaking, it's it's a nice card. If you have the ability of getting the team of the week into the team of the week upgrade and the Pep's legacy and you're working with some Real Madrid links in your team, W, a lot of good stuff to work with, right? It's not a must do in comparison to, again, Lorente versus Chuameni during that time period. 
because there are a lot of very good options here for sure. Like I said, Consolo is definitely going to be one of the top ones for a few different people, depending on what they want to do. But I mean, it's still a good card. Like it's it's still extinct for a reason. Uh, <laughs> it hurts me that I put him into the uh, into the Greaser SBC because he's very good in game. I enjoyed using him for what it was. I think the play style improvements has definitely been very nice. He just performs well. Like I, for the role that he would play in your team, especially being a left footed player with a five star weak foot, like. It's really nice. I, I liked it a lot. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this review today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.